A heart attack is when there's muscle damage as a result of, of restriction of blood flow to the heart muscle. The coronary arteries are the tiny um, fuel lines, we'll say, that go to the heart muscle that arise from the aorta, which is the main blood vessel that comes out of the heart, and supply the heart muscle with its blood. And as they get uh, disease from atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries, then they develop areas where the arteries will pinch off. Obviously, your heart's been beating since you, before you were born, and it will continue to beat until you're, you're not. And it'll be, in spite of the fact that it's not getting, enough mu uh, not getting enough blood, and it'll beat to the point where there's actually muscle damage. When there's muscle damage, then that's a heart attack, as opposed to just the cramping in the muscle, which is called angina. The symptoms vary greatly, but the classical symptoms are squeezing or tightness in the chest that radiate into the jaw or down the left arm. And it's generally a pretty severe pain, but it can be... It can be something that, that more mimics an indigestion or just, I don't feel good. And it's, and it's very difficult to put, it's not just one symptom or one symptom complex, but typically it's a squeezing, a tightness, a discomfort in the chest. Those patients need to go immediately to the emergency room. Time is what it's all about. And if it's indicated, they would go straight to the catheterization laboratory for this study. In the catheterization laboratory, this is a cine angiogram, and it is in motion. It shows the heart beating, and as you can see, they come off, the left main comes out, it, it begins branching like a tree in multiple branches that feed the heart. And as you go through, in this case, you see the narrowing is, is in a focal point at this, at this level. And it's been something that we've never really understood about hardening of the arteries, that that oftentimes it's an isolated lesion. It doesn't seem to involve the whole artery like you would think of as rust in a pipe, but it just gets a single isolated area, which leaves us the vessel beyond that we can come over and tee into and uh, prevent the heart attack. The surgery takes uh, a couple of hours. Uh, the patient typically will go to the intensive care unit where they'll spend one or two nights being observed closely for their vital signs, their EKG monitoring. Uh, typically they're in the bed, in the chair the next morning eating breakfast when we, when we get back to work the next day. This type of surgery is performed through a median sternotomy, which involves division of the breastbone. In that case, the bone is wired back together, uh, but the patient is somewhat restricted from very strenuous upper body activity. It's kind of like a broken arm. The muscle, we expect the muscle to heal just fine but it's certainly going to take a period of four to six weeks for the muscle to totally regain its strength. The main purpose of the operation in, in most cases is to prevent a heart attack and that's what we're doing. 